Hello dears, welcome to Beauty for Heart. I'm Dilin, a soon as needed. Today, I'll be sharing with you the Stavana PR Hall products review and update. I am grateful and surprised that Stavana reached out to me in September and asked me to review these products. So this is the update. Have been using them for a while now, I've changed my views in some of the products. If you are interested in these products and K-Beauty, you may like to continue watching. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the demo, the updates review and some of the swatches and my 3 most favorite products from this range. So hopefully this video is informative enough for you and help you to select your favorite products. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe. And for all of you dears who are watching my video right now, thank you so much for watching. It's my blessing to have you dears here. By the end of the video, please share with me in the comment section below. What are the Korean beauty products have you tried? Thank you so much and now let's get started. Just in case you dears haven't heard of Stavana, Stavana is a one-stop beauty online mall that carries many Asian products from the Japan, Korean and Taiwan. And what I like about Stavana is there is a specific cruelty-free section or vegan section. I appreciate this a lot because Asian cruelty-free brands sometimes just give me headaches whenever I search for their cruelty-free status because firstly, either their cruelty-free status will change according to time or sometimes I find that even the website like Lipping Bunny, Logical Harmony don't always update the cruelty-free status of the Asian brands or sometimes there are a lot of Asian brands that I cannot find in their website. So I think there are some loophole to it and with this cruelty-free and vegan section, it helped me to save a lot of time researching all this and helped me to shop easier and at peace. Tavana currently sent to countries like, let me just read out, United States, Germany, Austria, Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, and Russia. For customers who are located in the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, France, and Europe, please click the country name above which will direct you to your location to place your order. Anyways, I'll provide the link in the description box below so if you dears who are living in the UK, Canada, Australia, France, and Europe, you may like to click this link and find out how they ship over to your place. For shipping to Singapore and Malaysia, when our order value is above 35 USD, the shipping is free. Otherwise, there will be a shipping charge of 399 USD. And an extra 25 USD will be charged for a remote area. And all thanks to you dears, I'm so blessed that Stavana actually reached out to me and asked me to review these PR products in September. And they also gave me a 10% discount code, which I will link the discount code over here. And this 10% discount code is for you dears who wants to shop and save at the same time. There will be additional 15% off on the orders if the purchase amount exceeds 59 USD. 75 Canadian dollar, 43 pounds, 77 Australian dollar, 48 euro, excluding weekend deals and instant discounts. And this 10% discount code will expire on the 8th of December 2021. So hopefully my discount code is able to help you to save some money. And since this is already mid-November, Christmas is coming so it'll be a great time to save some money while shopping for your Christmas gifts for yourself or your loved ones. And visit the Stavana homepage where I'll also provide the link in the description box below. And may you dears have a happy shopping over there. <coughs> Stavana wanted to send me this Hamish Atlas Glow Base, but I already own it. So I asked them not to send to me to save money. <laughs> I bought this primer before the pandemic and been using on and off for about 2 years already. The product is described as, This glowing base gives skin a healthy glow and SPF 50+, PA++ sun protection. Use it alone or as a primer before makeup. It comes with a white lotion with moderate thickness and it blends out well and easily. On the skin, it gives me a pearlized illuminating finish on the skin and my skin looks glowy and hydrated. Once the skin looks hydrated, our pores look more refined and smoother and this also helps to reduce the look of my texture and bumpiness on my skin. It is scented but I don't remember smelling it on the face.
in my previous Savannah product review video, I was comparing this to the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer or is that the name of the primer? I cannot remember. So if you dears are curious about it, please refer to my previous video. I'll link the video address in the description box below as well as on the iCard. Anyway, I find that this Himish Atlas Glow Base is a good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. I still love the radiance that it is giving me. Sometimes when I went out, I would just apply this glowy base on my skin and then with my eyebrow and eye makeup and that's all. So I still like this and I will definitely recommend this. I wanted to love this Purito Sika Clary BB Cream but I can't love it 100%. I love the performance of this BB Cream but not the colour. The product is described as these BB creams provide a natural and radiant finish, protects from both UVA and UVB rays, and strengthens our skin barrier. It gently absorbs into the skin and has a long-lasting formula. This product does not contain artificial fragrances, essential oils, and harmful ingredients, which can cause irritation, making it great for people with all skin types including sensitive skin. I like the performance of this BB cream but not the colour. Let's talk about the colour first. There are only 3 colours available and usually for the K-Beauty face makeup, I will choose the number 23 natural beige, it is closer to my skin tone. And when I applied this on my face, I was so surprised to see that this number 23 has a very strong grey undertone. It looks off on me. Good thing is, when I use the Skin Food Peach Cotton Multi Finish Powder which I will mention in a while, the whiteness in the powder helps to adjust the grey in this BB cream. And right now, I'm also applying this BB cream with the Skin Food Powder. So you dears probably can tell from the screen that it helps a lot to adjust my greyness. Besides the colour which is a bit off on me, I like the glow of this BB cream. It gives my skin a very healthy look. It smoothes my skin when my skin condition is not at its best. It has a moderate natural coverage which is good enough to hide my dark circles. And with this BB cream, just use a little bit at a time. The first time when I used this BB cream, I squeezed a generous amount and I have to spread the cream all over my entire face, neck and hand to use up all the amount I squeeze. So just use a little amount. And for you dears who are curious about my skin condition, please refer to the description box below. I stated my skin condition there and my skin console over there. So as to help you to better understand and relate to your skin condition. I also love the fact that this BB cream is fragrance free and this is also ethylene oxide free. Ethylene oxide is a cancer causing substance and definitely I want to be prettier and healthy at the same time. So when I use this, I feel so much safer. I like to use this Skin Food Soda Mousse Fit Tint as a blusher too. This lip tint has a moussey, velvety texture, it is moisturizing on the lips and I love the blurry, dreamy, soft watercolor looks on the lips. It feels lightweight and comfortable on the lips and it helps to reduce the look of my lip lines. This lip tint however is transferable, so not really advisable to wear this under the surgical mask. And I realized whenever I apply this too much on my lips, the excess amount will stuck on my lip lines. So in this case, I will just use my finger to run over the lips to remove the excess. So a little goes a long way, just apply a little at a time. This Soda Mousse Fit Tint contains fragrance, but it doesn't linger on the lips. So before the pandemic, whenever I go out and just want a very very simple minimum makeup look, I will only draw my eyebrow as well as the lips. Eyebrow to me is a must and my face will be bare except with skincare. And hence, all the more the lipstick colours will either make or break the look. I find that although this colour is a warm colour and this is suitable for my warm skin tone, I find that this is a little too bright for my whole look where I'm not applying any other colour products. To balance off the brightness, I have to apply the eyeshadow or a blusher. So I find that I cannot wear this lip tint alone but to combine with other colour products. 
and nonetheless I still enjoy the formula and I still like to use this as a blusher I have a number of skin food products that I am really enjoying I'm really enjoying the packaging this is so simple yet so girly it looks so cute with the little peach picture over here on the lid comes with the white puff over here and the sieve the powder is white and it has a very sweet peach scent I've mentioned before the scent remind me of the glucose powder the powder is also very very finely milk and when I apply this on the skin it feels very smooth as well the product is described as an ultra fine finishing powder that helps to set the foundation to give the skin a flawless airbrush finish this is a micro silicone powder that will absorb oil and sweat for a fresh and matte look for the whole day without the need for constant retouching there are peach and sake extracts to soothe and comfort the sensitive skin preventing further irritation and this is suitable for oily and acne prone skin types there is a strong peachy scent which makes this powder smell so sweet and because of the scent this powder constantly reminds me of the glucose powder or the fine sugar initially i just feel like i'm applying the glucose powder all over my face without the ends coming after me after a few hours <laughs> but now maybe i'm used to this scent i find that the scent is lighter and not so sweet and at this moment it doesn't remind me of the glucose powder now it is a white translucent powder which is great for touch up it gives a matte airbrushed finish on the face so on the camera it does seem that this has a white powdery look on the face but not so much when i look myself in the mirror and when i spray with the makeup mist the powdery look on the camera is gone I like to use this powder on my early T-zone and whenever I'm shooting a video and taking a break and I find that my T-zone is a little shiny over here on my nose tip, then I will use this powder to touch up. So overall, I like this powder, I find that this is a good powder and I will constantly reach out for this. To me, this 3-in-1 eyebrow pencil is still like a transformer. <laughs> and why do I say that this is a transformer? Because it has three parts, the spoolie, the pencil part which is the triangular tip not sure if you can see this is the triangular tip and the powder part so this is a 3-in-1 eyebrow pencil there are also instructions given on the box over here to draw the eyebrow but all this is in Korean language I can't understand Korean I just follow the picture I have a number of the triangular tip eyebrow pencil and usually I find that whenever I use them I will end up with a very thick eyebrow and it reminds me so much of the crayon shin-chan from the Japanese anime which I also mentioned this in my previous video so when I see that this is a triangular tip I am actually quite afraid of it however this eyebrow pencil actually surprised me because the tip is actually slimmer and flatter so it's not as thick as the other triangular tip eyebrow pencils and this helped me to give a more precise look and this also allows me to draw easier the product is described as a 3-in-1 eyebrow wonders at your fingertips a slanted tips eyebrow liner that helps to shape the eyebrow more steadily it is sharper and a more precise end tail it is easy to apply and it stays all day and does not fade nor smudge with perspiration as it is infused with hydrating ingredients it will not cause irritation nor dryness to the eye area it contains also macadamia seed oil apricot seed oil avocado seed oil and rose heat fruit oil to moisturize prevent the dryness and to relax the skin it is available in two colors now, which is the ash grey and charcoal brown. I didn't know that an eyebrow pencil can contain so much oil. <laughs> this is something very new to me. Anyways, I tried a few permutations when I'm wearing this. I tried wearing this alone on my bare skin. 
and by bad this time I mean that I didn't even wash my face so my T-zone is oily my U-zone is dry and when I use this on my eyebrow which belongs to the T-zone area this will smudge because of the oil on my T-zone when I use this with a liquid foundation without any setting powder this will last longer and when I use a liquid foundation with setting powder especially with this Skin Food Peach Cotton Multi Finish Powder it really gives me a very matte look this eyebrow pencil doesn't move and doesn't smudge it stays in put it stays put the whole day so this is so much better to use this eyebrow pencil on a dry surface without much oil so as to make this eyebrow pencil last the whole day I seldom reach out for this shadow stick mainly because of the colour this is beige honey and this colour looks exactly like my skin tone just that it has shimmers in it and it doesn't really appear on my skin so that's why I'm not reaching out for this colour and the more I use it I realise that it will settle onto my lines over here like the double eyelid lines after a while especially when I apply a thicker texture eyeshadow base but I'll be interested to get their snow white which is a pearly white colour and I would love to draw it on the inner corners as well as the lower eyelid over here to brighten up the eyes I think this shadow stick should be great for this with dry mature lid as well as normal eyelid my eyelid is oily so that's why it does crease a bit over time <coughs> I'm still loving this glittery eyeshadow palette the most out of all these products and today I'm using this palette again I'm just using this color on my upper eyelid as well as the lower lash line and this is a matte with sparkle formula the sparkle really sparkles not like the ColourPop one that the sparkle will disappear but this really remains and somehow I just feel so satisfied applying this color only I wanted to do a more sophisticated look but I'm just so happy with this color and later on I also use this color which is this color on the inner corner as well as the about one third of my lower lash line over here and top up with the pressed glitters over here on the middle of the upper eyelid so today is a very simple look and this is my kind of color stories which is the girly romantic soft and sparkly type the clear acrylic casing feels so sturdy and durable it comes with the outer sleeve box like this and the color name and the finishes are at the back of the box not on the palette and there are five different finishes in this small palette and Hamish named them differently let me start off with the matte with sparkle formula and this is what Hamish called the matte pearl base and under the matte pearl base there are only two colors which is the mute pink and the peach light let me just do a swatch for you just to see this is the mute pink as you guys can see, this is mildly pigmented and this is very sparkly. The sparkle also translates very well onto the eyelid. Sparkle doesn't disappear on the eyelid. Texture is very smooth and easy to blend out. And this is the peach light. This peach light has more of a gold sparkle compared to the mute pink. Mute Pink has more of a silver sparkle So these two are the matte pearl base which are the matte with sparkle finish Next is the topper finish which the Himish call it the crystal pearl finish And over here we have also two colours which is this sugar white and this sugar berry Sugar white feels very bouncy It feels like the Colourpop Super Short Eyeshadow with sparkle But this Sugarberry doesn't feel so bouncy. It feels more of a powder, very creamy powder formula. Okay, so let me just swatch with this sugar white first. Color base is very sheer and this is filled with sparkle. Very tiny, finely milk sparkle. It is very beautiful and this is the color that I like to use on my inner corner as well as about one third of my lower lash line. And you can also use this topple as and when you like it over your favorite eyeshadow and this is the sugar berry 
that I'm going to swatch it now and later on I will just share with you the hand swatch of the colour sequence according to the palette the colour base is sheer, translucent and this is very glittery and with the lightness it looks quite wet very beautiful colours next will be the shimmer with glitter finish and this is what Hamish called the shimmer glitter finish and again there are only two colours which is this pink and coral under the shimmer glitter finish so let me start to swatch this pink the colour base is smooth and shiny and this feels very very smooth and this colour is packed with multi-dimensional sparkle colour is as sheer as the purple and this is super duper sparkling okay now let's swatch this coral Coral is one of my favourite colours over here and I find that this is more of a normal shimmer finish So this is the coral which is the shimmer glitter formula Beautiful isn't it? And this is the pressed glitter finish which what the Hamish called the glitter bump point These are self-adhesive, I didn't apply any glitter glue and it sticks pretty well onto the eyelid However, it does have some fallout but the fallout is quite minimum but sometimes when I apply them it is not that they fall out but because my finger is too big so the glitter smears over to the lower lash line I always like to use my finger to pick up the shimmers or the glitter finishes and just to play safe it is better to wear the glitter glue or if you don't want to wear the glitter glue you can just wear the eyeshadow first before the face makeup so under this glitter bump point finish, there are also two colours under this range which is firstly this colour which is a sparkly coral Sparkly coral has a much finer glitter compared to the other colour There is only one size glitter in this colour And today I'm applying this on my upper eyelid at the middle part There again there is a sheer colour base for these two colours with glitter See how sparkling this is? And the next glitter bump point finish is this which is the twinkle berry as you just probably can see from the pens there are actually two sizes of the glitters which is a fine glitter and a bigger size glitter however each time when i apply this on the eyelid i do not know why it seems that the bigger glitter fall out and doesn't stick onto my eyelid so i end up having only the fine size glitter the color base is very very sure for this twinkle berry and basically what you can see is just the glitter okay, not sure if you can see this is the bigger round glitter and the rest are the fine size glitter and I feel that this color is much better to be applied when we have some functions evening functions or D&D &D, dinner and dance or when you want to go to clubbing during the normal time and this is the last finish in this palette it is the shimmer finish which what the Hamish is calling the shade shimmer finish and over here we have only left with this color which belongs to this shade shimmer color and this is woody brown I would say actually woody brown is more of a shinier setting formula and this doesn't really have a very good color payoff on the eyes Basically, I have to build this color over and over and over again and usually I would like to apply this color on the outer corner So this is Woody Brown And now I'm going to insert the overall hand swatch video based on the color sequence in the palette This Hamish Glitter Eyeshadow Palette is mildly pigmented, subtle colours but the colour shines brightly and brilliantly. It is very suitable for dears with delicate eyes where applying strong colour eyeshadows will drown the eyes. Since these colours are subtle and shiny, it helps to open up the delicate eyes and add liveliness and sparkliness to the eyes. And nowadays, whenever I want to go out and wear the surgical mask, I will definitely reach out for this eyeshadow palette to create a soft, feminine, sparkly look. 
This is the typical kind of look I'm going for now. Starting this year, I'm more into the Japanese and Korean beauty products and beauty style. And that's why I'm very happy to be able to enjoy all of these products. Yeah! Yay! And my current top 3 favorite products will be slightly different from the previous time. And there are the primer from Hermish, the powder from Skin Food, and again the Hermish eyeshadow palette. And the honorable mention will be this Orchid Skin 3 in 1 eyebrow pencil. And this, if there's anything that caught your eyes in Savannah or the products over here that I mentioned just now, you may like to use my 10% discount code. The discount code will be linked over here and also in the description box below. And hopefully, this will help you to save when you shop. My discount code will expire on the 8th of December 2021. So if you want to do the shopping now, please do it quick before it expires. I do not earn any money from the discount code, it is just a discount for you dears and hopefully this will benefit you too. I hope that this video is useful for you and now dears, it's your turn to share with me. What are the Korean beauty products have you tried? And last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. Everybody wants happiness, nobody wants pain. But you can't have a rainbow without a little rain. Thank you dears for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell notification button below for my future videos. I love to do beauty products review and if this is your cup of tea, please join in my YouTube family. And dears, if you'd like to connect with me more, please visit me at my Instagram and Facebook platform. The address will be over here on the screen. May you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye! And before you go, please check out these two videos over here. Thank you!